Welcome to the Statistical Machine Learning and Motor Control Group at the University of Edinburgh. Here we do exciting, world-leading research on robotics, machine learning, and data-driven techniques using artificial intelligence to make robots a lot more versatile and adaptive to the real-world situations. We do work across domains, so applying the core problems in robotics and machine learning to domains in oil and gas, transport, healthcare, as well as things like the challenges of exploration in outer space. We want our robots to be uh, autonomously uh, deployed in uh, industrial plants, for instance, to perform uh, inspection tasks, to accomplish tasks that humans uh, can't do or that are dangerous for them. Our main business is to educate the next generation of outstanding postgraduate students and conduct cutting-edge research. My research is focused on designing exoskeleton controllers that can assist people uh, completing tasks such as walking. And to achieve this, what we do is we build quite complex uh, neuromuscular models of human subjects and combine this with a very detailed set of motion data that we can collect in our gate lab. We hope that uh, with this setup and combining robotic assistance with electrical stimulation, physical therapists can have a tool to personalize the intervention and improve the outcomes of physical therapy. My research is about robot localization in changing environments when the robot's view is nearly occluded by large moving objects. We want the robot to learn which objects are of interest without requiring a human to provide the information about the shape or the visual appearance of these objects. In order to enable robots to move while in contact, for example, when wiping a table or pushing a heavy object, my research focuses on how to plan or how to learn those types of physical contact interactions. We are developing mathematical models to enable a robot to capture heavy and moving objects with two arms. Uh, at the same time, we are handling impact. My research involves both humans and robots where first we enable robots to predict humans' intentions and actions, and we also generate safe robot actions in order to help the humans reach their goal. In construction, robots often operated by yeah, humans in dangerous environments needing expensive training. To reduce the operator burden, I'm working on shared autonomy, which combines human input and autonomous methods so the human can best utilize their expertise. I'm really interested in human-robot collaboration, so how we can enable robots to perform a common task effectively with human, such as pouring a wine into a human's glass. But humans are really difficult to predict, and so I'm interested in how we can better make those predictions. I'm working on the development of robots that can be easily taught to manipulate objects and potentially collaborate with people or assist people in need just by giving a demonstration of the task. I'm working on leg robots to make them traverse uh, challenging terrains. The idea we propose is to start with a capable controller that already works on the robot and try to extend and add capabilities to make the robot uh, cross a challenging terrains. I'm working as a software engineer in a field robotics lab and also I'm doing some research about um, quadruped robots. I'm working on how those robots with four legs should plan their first steps considering the torque limits on their legs. When robots have to uh, perform manipulation and uh, walk simultaneously, they face uh, a lot of uncertainty. One way we can increase the robustness of the system is by taking into account the capabilities of the robot, so its motors and also the contact stability. There are many conditions that we cannot predict. For instance, when we are navigating an offshore platform, we might encounter a floor that is wet. A way of dealing with this kind of uh, uncertainties is by replanning quickly new motions. I'm working on building better robots for specific tasks. So a robot that walks might need to be built a little differently than one that jumps. And so I'm working to create algorithms that modify the designs based on the tasks. And I'm looking at making those more efficient and physically realistic. My work focuses on motion planning, especially when it comes to the environment changes, are the obstacles coming in and out or the objects that the robot is trying to pick up and move are moving. And this is especially useful when working with robots that need to be safe around, uh, around people and other robots. So the environment may have 
many different inclined slopes and this uh, gives rise to a lot of different options of when to play the foot and where to play the foot. Robots in the real world have to operate in environments where obstacles around them are moving. So whether that's in hospitals where we have people moving around, or whether that's in a factory where you have other robots that you might need to avoid. My research interests are in developing algorithms and motion planning software that will allow us to move robots in ways that avoid those obstacles. I particularly enjoy working on the large scale projects which we have within the group and helping with the project management side with the Alan Turing Institute, the ISCF hubs and also the EU Horizon 2020 projects. So if you've liked some of the um, research that you've seen in the video and would like to work on some of these exciting platforms and projects, please do get in touch with us and we'd love to have you as part of our team.